Monet Anderson standing here with Coach Thomas Pilati. They absolutely put their foot on the gas and never let up. Coach, speaking about putting your foot on the gas, you had two losses at the beginning of the season. You never lost again. You all put it in. You never stop. Talk about the season all the way up to the championship. How you feeling? I mean, I feel great. Um, young men, they, they ask you every time we called on them to make a play. Every time we called on them to make any stop. Every time we called on them to score. And they did everything we asked all year. Not not just all year, but all, all season. There was a lot of hard work that went into building this thing. And, you know, they, they earned it. They earned it. They really earned it. Um, we lost those first two. I mean, by a matter of five points total. We lo lose two games. It's a matter of five points. Um, you know, it, it really hurts. So you gotta, you gotta bounce back. It's, it's your character. It's to test your character, who you are. And, you know, those guys, they weren't gonna give up. No, they weren't gonna give up. Yeah. yeah, you have a ton of talent on this team. I don't know how you work with so much talent, but you did it. You got them all on the field. A lot of them played both ways. First of all, I want to talk about that two-headed running back core that you have, Blake Corm, Jared Patterson. Talk about those two. I mean, I, I would be, I would be, I, I'm the defensive coordinator on our team, and I. I would be, you know, I hate to see those two. I would hate to come up against those two. I mean, it's hard to stop two two animals. I mean, it's definitely a two-headed monster there. Um, just the parts around them, like you said, that's a great problem to have when you have so many guys that can make plays and dominate the guy across from you. Um, we're, we're lucky to have great guys. And, um, you know, we just want to continue this thing, continue rolling. Um, but our seniors, they set great examples. We should be proud of them. Oh, absolutely, they did. I want to go back to Blake just a second. I saw him playing some D in the night. What was the decision to, to put him there? Was it speed coming off the end that you were looking for? Yeah, I mean, well, um, you know, you got to put your guys in position to make plays. You, know, you, know, you have guys like Jared Patterson and Blake Coleman. They actually did both work um, in a package. We made a package for him to come off the edge. The quarterback did a great job scrambling um, last time we saw him. So, I knew that we had to had to put pressure on him. Um, and coach, coach Justin had a great idea putting him on the end and rushed the, the quarterback. And we, we went with it. And it was a great, great, great job. They executed, got to the quarterback, made him get the ball out of his hands. So, you know, they executed well tonight. Obviously, they got a few points on the board. We made a few mistakes, but that's what happened in the game. You keep fighting. And I know we talked about a few names tonight. Are there any other names you want to kick out there? We always want to give credit where it's due. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, my. Seeing you know running back Jerry Patterson, he's been unbelievable all year. Yes, if yes. he doesn't get the credit he deserves this year, I don't know what a young man has to do to get it. Right, um, right. Obviously, his brother James Patterson, unbelievable. He's the most unbelievable linebacker I've ever seen in the person. He's so strong, so explosive, and just so natural um, on the field. And, um, you know, uh, so many of them. Yeah. Cameron Southern yeah. Brown, yeah. unstoppable yeah. receiver, yeah. defensive back, just unbelievable. Yeah. 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 Dylan Powell, another one who's on a second year player. Just came out and just just as wild as coming in and being a, a to the rushing. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. And I, mean, I, I always want to, and I know you could, you could go on and on. I always want to give somebody big else shout out to those offensive and defensive yeah. lines. They never get I enough like, credit. I was just about to say the same thing. I would love to give credit to Tyler Hamilton. He's a you know our star uh, uh, offensive uh, tackle. He, he doesn't get beat. He, he, he blocks to to the whistle every game, every rep. He hasn't missed the play all game, all, all year. Um, actually, our offensive line, we only know five guys all year on the offensive line. So five guys to every snap this year on the offensive line. You know, I want to give credit to all of those guys. Also, Jelani Dennis Gray, he's a senior, a D tackle, offensive guard. That's just unbelievable. He played, had to move him out of the offensive offensive tackle as well. The guy went down, so we. We had to, you know, put guys in place, like I said. You know, you know they can do it. You got to put them in. Right. You have some awesome talent leaving you, but you have some awesome talent that will return next season. What is in store for Pilates next season? Um, well, you know, we, we, we've made a lot of noise these past few years, and, you know, in the area, and, you know, even in the country. The college coaches are taking notice too. And I'm, I you know, we just want to continue like, this no. thing, bring those great guys, you, you know, do. guys with great character, guys that are willing to put in that work to, you know, receive, um, you know, Anything that they want to achieve in their lives. That's, you know, we're family here. You know, whatever they want to do. That's, that's life, what you said. Like, we're going to take care of business. We're going to take care of business. We're never putting that work on. You know, we, we, we keep this thing going. You know, these, these seniors, they set a great example for, for the underclass. You know, right. how that's to put true. the work in, how to prepare, how to prepare. And, that, and that's where we got to go. That's right. Now, I'm going to get you out of here on this one. This is a big one. Yeah. You all in the MIAAB. 
in the future? Can we see that MIAAA? I'm always striving to be the best I can possibly be, and, you know, to stay stagnant at the B book. That's not in my character. Um, obviously, I want to go all the way to the top. I want to continue fighting and I want to play the best. Um, if the A has the best, that's where I want to be. Last year, I honestly believe the B was a better conference. It was more, way more competitive. Um, but, you know, in the future, I, I can see it's definitely going to the A. Yeah, I can see it too, and that's why I asked. I, I see you uh, there, and I'll stop there with it. I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> but it. Definitely. Thank you, Coach Thomas. Congratulations again on the championship. Go do something great tonight Absolutely. and enjoy it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. All right.